the red flag laws nation there in some states i'm absolutely for those and i want to we're going to figure law? yeah and susan brooks is, is, is making a bill is, is working on a bill right now that i think is going to really get the job done and she's going to be coming out the next couple of weeks now i'll circle back to it, but i just want to tick off the things i'm talking about i think we need to find a way to make school make sure there's school resource officers in every school nationwide and find the money to provide the grant funding for that um, I don't think arming teachers is, is the, the answer, and I, and I certainly have heard from teachers in Central New York, and they don't think that's the answer. Um, I also think that uh, banning bump stocks is just no question we should get rid of those. And I also think that uh, the fixed NIC system is something we need to do. And I also think you need to take a look at the age requirement for, for uh, buying assault rifles and see, see if it can, we can work out a workable solution for that. I mean, up to 21, for example, maybe, and, and with an exception if you're in the military already and already trained on that weapon. Um, I also think that uh, we need to take a fresh look at the universal background check system and make sure that the loopholes uh, are, uh, um, are closed and, and taken a look at. Final component, and something I haven't discussed with anybody yet, so you guys are getting the first crack at it, and that is a bill that I'm going to submit probably this week, and that is um, uh, to form a presidential commission that is populated by both uh, Democrats and Republicans across the spectrum the House, the Speaker, the Minority Leader in the House, uh, the, the heads of the Senate and the Minority Heads of the Senate, the President, and the, the stakeholders on both sides all get to appoint people, and they should look at everything. Everything should be on the table, and I think we should have the, have the difficult discussions and see what we can come up with. I think that um, uh, everything from the mental health aspect is going to be part of this bill to uh, the, the adequacy of our current firearms laws to, and the adequacy of our mental health laws as it relates to firearms and access to firearms. And uh, we should have a time period on it that's sh relatively short. Get them together, make recommendations. There's plenty out there already. Have them in a sober, uh, let's try and get it done setting, uh, come up with what they can come up with. They did it with the 9-11 Commission. They did it with a uh, task force I did with um, terrorism. And uh, my, my report, as Mark will recall, we had 32 findings and 50 recommendations, and more than half of them had become law. So you, these task forces or these commissions can work. And I think that's about the only way we're going to be able to build consensus on this issue, and we should.